This is the video review of Solar Saver from Giant Saver 2 Space Deleter. And Space Deleter is an awesome name. And like, I'm really interested to find the show and watch it now just to see what is deleting space. Like, are the heroes doing it? Are the bad guys doing it? What? I don't know. Now, if you don't know what Giant Saver is, um, I don't remember what the first show was called, but um, this is like the second show in the Giant Saver series. And Giant Saver is a basically Chinese Super Sentai. It's a, uh, uh, I don't want to call it a knockoff line of Super Sentai because uh, Power Rangers is that too, but no one calls it a knockoff. It's uh, Chinese, uh, China's own version of Super Sentai. And I don't forgot you for it because this thing is awesome. And I, I actually have um, the first Giant Saver. Um, like all three mechs from the first giant saver on the way but anyway this is solar saver we start off with the uh dream fighter up here which is um i'm not entirely sure what this thing is it's either like a satellite because like these look like solar panels or it's like a long distance drone or something but the wing configuration is weird like i could see something having um almost like a goal wing shape uh, like this but um it doesn't quite have the connection necessary to make it look natural and uh th that's mostly because the thing just turns into the helmet and shoulder pads for um all the different combinations of um, uh, Solar Saver and Planet Saver, Galaxy Saver, Cosmo Saver, and all, all the different um, combinations after this. But anyway, um, it's not too bad, but it is a little bit weird. You get prepped for transformation, we're going to take the nose here. We're going to bring it back like this until it clicks. And then we'll bring the wings down like this a little bit, and uh, they're, they're just tabbed in very simply. They're going to rotate them up like this just to keep them out of the way. And then we'll, we'll put a Dream Fighter off to the side. Uh, next one we're going to look at is, um, well, we're going to look at both of the uh, the Rising Arrow, which is this red one here, and the Sky Transport, which is this blue one here. We're going to look at them at the same time. Now, as you saw um, at the very start of the, of the video, all three of them were kind of hooked together. Uh, the uh, Dream Fighter was not actually tabbed into this whole thing. It was just kind of sitting in this notch here. But the uh, Rising Arrow does actually uh, clip onto the uh, Sky Transport here. And so it, it is nice that they can all kind of sit together on a shelf if you don't want them to be uh, in their Solar Saver mode. But one other thing you can do is if you take the sky transport and you bend it up like this um, it, it's not even because it has a wheels here but not here so it kind of sits at an angle uh, you can make a launch pad right here for it and it, it's like it's kind of a um, an extra mode that doesn't really do anything because like it doesn't attach anywhere it's just you can do it um, but it's nice to have it it's it's an interesting little thing but anyway moving on We'll be looking at Sky Transport first. We'll be doing uh, Rising Arrow last because he kind of pulls the entire transformation together. So we'll put him off to the side. Oops, sorry. Now Sky Transport is this really, really long, um, well, transport-like thing with a huge bay for stuff. And he really reminds me of Busson from uh, Gowanger. Um, like, he really reminds me of Busson because he has, like, the same tab that can fold in like this. Uh, these form the legs, and, like, uh, this folds up to form the front. Like, this thing is Busson, but given kind of a space motif, and that it's meant to, like, carry a rocket around, and it's a bit, lar it's a bit larger. But, uh, yeah, this thing is, um, it's Busson. Um, I really like the front of it, how these things are either like huge searchlights or they're missiles. Because like this one up here looks like a missile launcher. Or this is missiles and the rest are lights. But either way, it's, it's a pretty nice little thing. To get transformed into its leg mode, you'll start by folding these things in. Fold these down. Like this. And then you'll take these. You'll pull out the treads down here. Because these form the knee pads. And you, you have to pull them out. You can't just leave them in. If you leave them in, then it won't uh, it won't marry properly to the front. Because these things will press against the thigh bits here. So pull them out. Bring them up. Snap them into place. And then you'll take the toes. And you'll bring them out like this. And here is the most terrifying thing of all of these um, uh, giant saver toys. Of the um, of all the space layer toys. Which is, um, I'm going to pop these apart. And I just popped apart the clips down there. Now watch, listen to this sound when I bring this out, because this sound has to be heard to believe because it is so uncomfortable. It's just such a loudest sound, you have to do so much force to do it. Let me bring it in. And it's just the most awful sound, and I'm concerned that the joint's going to break in there. But um I I really want to break into it and like um 
pull some of the, uh, this uh, paneling off. Um, I don't know if I can get to all of it because these things are in the way. Yeah, yeah I, actually I can get to it, but I really want to take it apart and see if I can just loosen that a little bit, or, or at least to look at the mechanism to see if it's going to break or not. But anyway, here are the legs. And for the most part, I think they're nice legs. Like, I like the silhouette of them. How they have these uh, nice prominent knee pads. Um, but I really wish that they had a bit more detail down here because they do look kind of plain. Now, anyway, last we're going to look at is uh, Rising Arrow. Rising Arrow is just this giant rocket. And uh, I love how it has the... Um, how, how has just this insignia just stamped on it? Like, yeah, screw aerodynamics. I'm flying with a giant insignia. And yeah, yeah, it's just a um, a pretty cool big rocket. Now, to um, it has one gimmick in this mode, which is you can open this up, and you get a giant laser thing. And the two halves here are geared together. Now, to transform this. You're first going to pop this off, which will be the weapon. Then you're going to take these, and pop these off, and oops. They don't tab together like there are tabs, but they, they're more like uh, tabs to keep them in line, not tabs to keep them together. But um, the arms come off like this. Then we'll come in here, we'll telescope out the arms, pull out this uh, connector port here, we'll telescope out the arm, bring out the connector port here. And then we have this section here, which is just the chest. Like, you don't do any transformation to this except uh, pull these out, um, which is more of an ex more of a uh, an aesthetic thing. But you don't do anything to this. You just um, pull the nose and then the midsection off. And then you take this and then you chunk it down onto the top. Now it connects in three places. There is what looks like uh, the same kind of connection as the arms here, right here. Then there are clips in here and in here. I don't know how well you can see them, but you can see the tabs here and here. And then you bring it down. So, what's weird about it is that uh, when you push it down, it doesn't take much force to push it down, even though it feels, even though it looks like it should with all the connector ports. But it is a very, very solid connection. So, even though it seems like it's not that strong when you push it down, it, it is more than sufficient. Anyway, next you will take the arms and you'll pop them on like this. And, and again, um, it's spring, so I'm real. I have allergies, so if I end up being sniffly, uh, I apologize. Then you take this, and the way that the arm connects is that there are uh, clips here and here that use to uh, connect those just in a rising arrow form. Those will connect to the same uh, tabs here and here that use to uh, connect to the arms, but you're going to have an offset. So, um, so as before, when it was connected to the um, to the uh, uh, to the rocket, it was um, uh, this was on just on this side, but now you want to bring it uh, closer to the middle like that. And anyway, for the most part, this is Solar Saver all completed. If you didn't have a uh, Dream Fighter here, you could just have uh, these guys be just one robot. And I do think that they work quite well. They are a nice, a nice robot like this. But we're about to dial it up to 11 and give them a really awesome helmet and some really awesome shoulders. Uh, they're um, tabs here and here and then clips here and here we're just going to drop those down like this and then we're going to bring these down onto his shoulders like that and this is solar saver in his robot mode and he looks awesome i love the way this guy looks like <coughs> this is the kind of stuff that i want bandai of, uh, bandai of japan to be making well this is the kind of stuff i just want bandai to be making stuff that looks awesome and cool like this like I'm tired of uh, Super Sentai Mecha being more about gimmick than presence. Because this thing has presence and it looks awesome. Like, I just want something that's simple but looks great and has a somewhat interesting combination, um, even if it's um, a little bit simplistic. Because, um, like, I'm not a super huge fan of this guy's parts forming or of how little you have to do to actually put them together because he is quite simple. But the individual things are all big and chunky and cool. The little bit of transformation they do isn't bad, and then the final robot looks awesome. And so I'm very happy with this. I really like this guy. Um, so if you want to get this guy, um, you're going to have to pay a premium on eBay, or you can go to SirToys.com and buy it there. And this guy, I think, is about $44 on SirToys plus shipping, which, uh, depending on where you live, might be a lot. But the thing about SirToys is that he doesn't ship it in the box. Like, he doesn't ship it in the giant boxes that come in. He... he 
unless you specifically request, and even then I don't know if he would do it because I've never asked, um, he takes the figures out of the boxes and then packages them up again and puts them into a much smaller box. So even then, the shipping isn't that bad. So definitely buy from Sir Toys unless you just really, really, really need the box, uh, which uh, honestly I don't because I have enough clutter in my room already. Uh, so yeah, uh, for $44 plus shipping, this is a steal for a Megazord because this thing is like, I like this thing better than what... Um, um, Bandai's doing with an Ninja stuff so far. Like, this thing is awesome. So, anyway, um, next we have the, um, a Planet Saver with, like, the, uh, Shadow Dish and the Steel Drill there to review. Um, and then they'll combine into, um, into Galaxy Saver. So that's going to be the next review. But anyway, um, I review Power Rangers, Transformers, Digimon, uh, uh Space Leader stuff. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe and thank you for watching.